Hello, my name's Adam Novak, and now I'll be talking about leveling the bed. When starting with 3D printing, most of the problems that will occur will be simply trying to get your objects to stick to the print bed. That is why we're going to start by looking at bed leveling techniques. And what I like to do is print a file which I created myself, which simply takes up the entire space of the print bed. And it does two boxes of two layers, one very large taking up the entire space, then a smaller one in the middle. By doing this, I'm able to level the bed during the print process. I find when not having an auto leveler on the stepper motor head, manual leveling during a print is my best way of getting a level bed. So what you've seen me just do with the print bed then is unlevel the bed. So I've played with the screws and rotated them about two times in either direction. So I can show you how using this file will make things hopefully easier for you. If you'd like to use the same technique for leveling your bed, just write in the comments below the specific size of your print bed. I'll also need your nozzle size if it is not 0.4 millimeters. Now the print is actually starting to begin and the nozzle will do a quick purge, a single line at the start before it prints our actual object. By observing this line, I can immediately see that it did not connect to the bed properly. So I start adjusting this at the bottom. You can just see my hand. The print will actually only begin at the bottom right here, and I observe it take place slowly. By watching how much this print sticks as it traverses to the right, I can tell whether it's the closest part of the bed to us, or the axis screw on the right which I need to adjust. I keep letting this take place and I keep adjusting these manually at the bottom as this print actually occurs. And by having a print slowly take place with two shells, I have plenty of time to adjust each axis until I'm satisfied. Another thing I like to do is to slow down the print speed while adjusting. By doing this, I have plenty of time to play with my bed while the print actually takes place. We will now skip to the end of this print so you can simply see its final result. And then we'll run through some images of poorly leveled beds. So you can become familiar with examples of unleveled beds so you know how to adjust your bed as it prints or after. All of these images were created by simply creating an object of only one layer height and then printing them. The first object being the top left being much too close to the nozzle. And then I slowly moved it further away as you can see at the top middle and then moved it further away again at the top right and proceeded. The one at the bottom left does look quite nice, though you might not realise it is actually still too close as you might be able to see from the outside layers. And the best result was the bottom middle. The bottom right one is quite stringy, so hopefully you can see it is obviously too far away from the nozzle. I hope you can excuse the middle layer not being printed very well. This is actually a software issue due to retraction and I should have corrected this before I printed. The rest of this video is simply the prints themselves on the bed starting from the top left to the bottom right. So you can become more familiar with the prints and not waste your own time printing and hopefully just see them here. I hope this has helped you and made you more productive in your printing experience and hopefully accelerated you along. You are ready to start printing so you can simply go online and start downloading some really cool stuff. I've provided some of these links in the description below. There are over hundreds of thousands of things which you can print and explore for free at your leisure. Your other option is to create your own 3D models. I have a 3D graphics course online as well. You can follow all of this for free and download all of the software for free because it's all open source. And also because of this, there are many people in the community which have their own tutorials which you can also follow. Because my videos are only be created at this moment, you have the unique opportunity to be able to request videos on subject matters which you are interested in. The other things I might suggest you to print are tolerance checkers for your printer. In the description below I supply some of these, especially for the next lesson. You may as well get a head start now by printing them. These will allow you to get to know your printer better and understand the margins of error in the prints themselves and how it handles overhanging angles. And like always, thank you for watching, please subscribe or support us on Patreon.